What's up everyone? I managed to get another circulated box of Lincoln Scents. So I'm going to be searching these for the obvious wheat pennies and Indian head scents, corn coins, and also dye varieties and errors. So I'm going to get started on these and I'll let you know if I find anything. Alright, very first roll. And I've actually got my first wheat for the box. And it is a 1953D. Alright, rule number four. And I've got my second wheat for the box right here. And it's a 1958D. Alright, rule number five, and it looks like I've got my third wheat for the box, and it's a 1950S. Alright, rule number six, and it looks like I've got my fourth wheat for the box already, and it's a 1942. Roll number 11, and I've got my fifth wheat for the box, and it's a 1946. Alright, I just opened roll number 12, and I can tell I'm going to profit off of this box, because I've got a dime. So that puts me nine cents towards the positive for profiting. I was halfway done with roll number 23 and I just noticed there's a wheat sticking out back here, which is wheat number six for the box and it is a 1952D. Roll number 24, and it looks like I've got my 7th wheat for the box right here. And it's a 1953. Alright, I'm still on roll number 24, and apparently I missed this beautiful wheat back here. Because it looked modern with all that mint luster that it still has left on it. And it's a 1958D. That's in beautiful shape. And that brings me up to 8 wheats for the box. Roll number 25. And it looks like... I've got my ninth wheat for the box. And it is a 1957D. Alright, roll number 30, and it looks like I have my tenth wheat for the box. And it is a 1945. Roll number 44, and it looks like I've got my 11th wheat for the box, and it is a 1936. Roll number 45, and it looks like I've got my 12th wheat for the box. And it's a 1952. Roll number 49, and it looks like I have my 13th week for the box. And it's a 1955D. 
All right, very last roll of the box, and it looks like I'm going to be able to finish out the box with a count of 15 leets because I see two in this roll. The first one right here. And it's a 1945. And the second one is over here. And it is a 1951D. Alright, so I finished up that entire box. I ended up with 15 wheats. I got a 1936, 1942, two 1945s, a 1946, a 1950s, a 1951D, a 1952D, 1952D, 1953, 1953D, 1955D, 1957D, Two 1958Ds with one of them being in like almost BU condition. It has a couple little scuffs from being in circulation, but other than that, it's a beautiful coin. Two Canadians, a 1964 and a 1995. I got a 1999D with an angel stamped in the middle of it. And then I made a profit of nine cents because I did find a clad dime. And then I got two decent double dies, which I'm going to show you under the scope right now. Alright, so I've got two decent double dies to show you. I pulled out this 2011. As you can see, there's some thickness on the date. One of the main pickups that I look for on these shield sense is the zero. Because that's one of the easiest ways for me to tell personally if it's a double die or not. And then as you can see there's some thickness on Liberty. And there's also some thickness on In God We Trust, but the thickness kind of decreases as you go over. And I used John Wexler's website to attribute this one. And I'm pretty sure it is WDDO-002. And it is also a best of variety. And the second one that I pulled out was this 2015. As you can see, it's got extra thickness on the date. It can see it for the most part on that zero and you've got extra thickness on Liberty and you've got extra thickness on In God We Trust and I used Wexler's website to attribute that one as well and I'm pretty sure it is WDDO-007 and it is also a best of variety. So I was pretty excited to find both of those. And overall, this was a pretty good box. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like and leave a comment. And thanks for watching.